In the 1990 NFC Championship game, the Giants were a huge underdog against the two-time defending Super Bowl champion San Francisco 49ers. To go there against all odds, knowing that this game for them was supposed to be a mere formality. In a tough smash mouth battle, both teams would dish out a physical beating. They were the home team and it was the playoffs and they were the 49ers and they were two time Super Bowl champions. But we had a good football team too. You know that this is a low scoring game, which means it's gonna be probably a field goals. And in a seesaw contest that saw four lead changes, Barr was a model of accuracy and consistency. And this game is tied at three. Barr from 42 yards away. Far enough and good. And so the Giants take the lead six to three. The 49ers regained the lead when Joe Montana connected with John Taylor on a 61-yard score. Don't play for a big break to Taylor. In the fourth quarter, with the Giants trailing 13 to nine, Hostetler suffered what seemed to be a serious injury when he was hit by former Giant Jim Burke. Jeff Hostetler got hit after he throws that, and he is still down. I came over the sideline, and I remember Parcells coming over and saying, can you go, can you go? Bill Parcells is even in there asking, you know, can you go, can you go? I said, yeah, I can go. And uh, then he left, and then he came back again. I said, can you go? And, I, and I, I yelled back at him, yeah, I can go, I'm going. Hostetler returned on the next series, showing no signs of the injury. Hostetler back to throw, chased out of the pocket quickly, and now he comes out of there. Maybe he didn't lose all that mobility. Although the drive would stall, the Giants once again showed the 49ers that they were down, but not out. Fake punt, and it's going to work. Breeze is streaking down to the inside the 25. That's the call they needed. That's the play they needed. They needed something to get them out of this. Bill Parcells came up with it. The element of surprise is a great advantage. I've always told my players, I'm going to do everything that I think gives us the best chance to win. The 49ers, if you count the number of players on the field, they played with 10 players on that play. So it was a gaping hole for me to run through and me with my limited athletic ability needed a little bit of extra room uh, to get through there. So uh, it turned out well, but for me it was a, an opportunity to make a decision, execute the play, and, and run through there. Three plays later, Matt Barr's fourth field goal made it a one-point game. 13-12, the 49ers lead with 5.47 left to play. And if the 49ers were going to run out the clock to preserve the win, they're going to have to do it without their starting quarterback. Everybody likes to refer to the Joe Montana play. You know, I'm blocked, I slip, another guy tries to chop my feet, and I'm crawling, I'm doing everything I possibly can to get there. And I never gave up on the play. If I chased out, finally hit from behind, the ball's loose. I was hoping, I said, I hope he don't release this ball. If he doesn't release this ball, he's going to get the hit of a lifetime. And, you know, it was lights out Irene from there. Steve Young came in to replace Montana, needing only a couple of first downs to seal the victory. But when their team needed them the most, the Giants' defense would step up with this signature play. I remember that sort of seminal moment before the ball was snapped. It was a real feeling of desperation. I remember thinking, you know, prior to the snap, somebody's got to make a play here. Three again, hit behind the line of scrimmage, and the Giants have the ball. You know, I busted through and, there, you know, there's Roger Craig. I knew that I had made the tackle. I knew that I had made the fumble, you know, because I see, you know, LT get up and run off of the ball. Lawrence Taylor out of the pack with the ball. But the guy who caused the fumble was Eric Howard. Eric Howard made the biggest play of his life on that fumble. The defense's timely takeaway set the stage for more Hostetler heroics. Here's Hostetler chased out of the pocket, chased by Burt. Pass is caught by Bavaro, and Hostetler back to throw it. Scrambles right, throws right, caught and out of bounds. Inside the 30 by Stephen Baker. 
Now it just came down to Matt Barr. And you know that it's a win or lose situation, but that's what you have practiced 10,000 times, was for that kick. Snap, spot, kick is away, it's got the distance, it is good, good, And the good. Giants are going to Tampa Bay, it's over for the three-peats, it's over. Take a deep breath, exhale, head down, follow through with the target. And the kick is good. There will be no three-peat. I never had any doubt that Matt Barr was going to make the field goal. I mean, the guy was just money. Ever had a moment like this in your life? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Greatest game I've ever coached in. Maybe not the most aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but to me, it was bliss. plane ride from there to Tampa was the most memorable trip that I've ever been on. It was such a celebration, the players so happy. We're going to Tampa Bay! Ah! That might have been the best plane ride I've been on in a long time, because I tell you what, we were some, we having some fun on that plane. Though. Hey, <laughs> Tampa Bay, baby! Happy New Year, guys. Going to the show. Hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.